guys, Deronda here. I have received many requests on how to make chocolate pudding the old fashioned way. So let's get started. The ingredients you're gonna need is two and one fourth cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of butter that I've cubed. It can be salted or unsalted. One fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, three tablespoons of cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Make sure you use pure vanilla. It'll make all the difference in flavor. And two thirds cups of our sugar. Now let me show you how simple and easy this is to make. In a two and a half quart saucepan, we're going to add our cocoa powder. Along with the sugar, the cornstarch, and the salt. With a whisk, we're gonna give this a lovely little stirring until these four ingredients are well incorporated. And once it's looking like this, we can set the butter off to the side along with the vanilla. We're gonna start adding our whole milk while we continue to whisk. Add it slowly. Now, if you don't have a whisk, you can go ahead and use a large spoon. Over here to the stove top, over medium heat, make sure your heat is at medium. We're going to continue stirring or whisking gently until our mixture comes to a boil. With a large spoon, I like to go around the edges, the bottom edges of our ingredients to make sure there's no sugar or cocoa in the corners. When you get it off the edge of your pan, make sure you get all your ingredients here into the liquid and continue stirring until it comes to a boil. Once your pudding begins to bubble, you see there's a gentle bubble on there. We're gonna continue stirring for one minute. So set your timer and continue stirring vigorously. We want to cook out all that cornstarch. This is what causes your chocolate pudding to thicken. Now we're gonna turn off the timer, remove this off the heat. Back over here, we're going to add in the vanilla. Give it a lovely little whisking, along with our cubed butter, all at once. And continue whisking until your butter has melted and your vanilla is well incorporated. Woo! And this smells so delicious. I've got these little ramekins I'm gonna serve my chocolate pudding in. And now I've got a little bit more butter there that needs to be melted. Add it into its serving dish. You can add it into a big bowl or you can add it into individual serving dishes. Begin adding into our serving dish. Do it while it's hot. And that looks beautiful. If you have little bubbles here, you can just pop them with a fork, or you can just go ahead, give it a little tap, and it'll break it up that way too. To keep the skim from forming on the top of your old fashioned chocolate pudding here, you just take a piece of plastic and lay it right there on the top. And so when it cools down, you're gonna have that lovely, creamy, dark chocolate pudding without that heavy skim on the top. And once I get these all covered, I'm gonna let them cool down here in their ramekin for about two hours. I'm putting mine here on a cooling rack. They'll cool faster if the bottom's not sitting against the flat surface. You can cool in here on the countertop or in the refrigerator. They'll cool down faster if you take them to the fridge. Let's give one of these a try. And as you can see, this plastic will remove right off the top of your chocolate pudding. And looky there, it's set up. I've had it sitting out here for about two hours. Then look how delicious and creamy that is. Gotta give it a try. Wow, one of the best old fashioned chocolate pudding recipes you'll ever come across. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up, creamy, chocolatey, so decadent. 
you're absolutely gonna love it. Thanks a million for watching and I'll catch you lovely people later.